We've got a serious beast right here. This is a 1970 Chevelle SS454 LS6. That was the top dog Chevelle. Uh, this one is documented with its original build sheet. I have a copy here, the original's under lock and key. Car's been verified by Rick Nelson. This is a genuine LS6. It lived its life on and off the drag strips. Uh, it has 58,000 actual miles, all original sheet metal, a lot of its original bumpers and console and components. It has 300 miles since a body off frame nut and bolt restoration. Uh, to day two specs, we'll call it. Day two means what would you have done when you bought the car and modified it? That would be the Kreger wheels, has some old school type uh, four link ladder bars in the back. The original motor was blown back in the 70s. There's a 540 big block with 600 plus uh, horsepower and 600 pounds of torque. This thing is a beast. Uh, go to volocars.com where you can read all about it. Find a price tag on every car we have for sale along with the monthly payment. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Comes with a stack of receipts as well. The restoration was done in 2019 on only 315 miles on it since it's been finished. Uh, they did an outstanding job. There's owner history on this car. Gentlemen, we got it from. Uh, him and his buddy have owned it the last 21 years. It's bounced back and forth between them. The body is absolutely straight. And again, no rust. This is a 58,000 mile all original metal car. It's absolutely straight. Repainted its original tuxedo black color. We have footage of this car over 30 years ago at the drag strip. Some old vintage footage. It's really cool to watch. Uh, even time slips. <clears throat> So absolutely straight. I'll admit this is better than it would have been rolling off the assembly line. This is just black glass. You don't feel the stripes. They are the correct dimensions. All the gaps are nice, straight, clean, no rust, no damage, no funny areas, no shrinkage, no cracking. There's a little smear that wipes off. <clears throat> Everything lines up beautifully. You see I have the windows rolled up. All lines up really nice, clean, straight. The hood up here is a problem area for these Chevelles. Both sides line up spot on the money. The paint is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, skunk car, they'll call it, black with the white stripes. <clears throat> the glass is all crystal clear. Uh, side glass, all the stainless. It's buffed out. It's just about like chrome. Mirror handles, uh, they look beautiful. All the moldings, all the vinyl top, uh, even the back windows crystal clear. All looks really nice. This is probably original glass. There's a few light scratches there. <clears throat> the bumpers are the originals. They've been re-chromed. You know, tail lights, the SS pad, everything looks dynamite. Kreger wheels are new. Uh, or when it was restored, they were bought new. They're 15 inch running Mickey Thompson tires front and back, fatter and taller in the back, has the extended heavier duty uh, lugs sticking out for the rear wheels. It has a great stance. Let's open it up. We'll show you a little more and tell you a little more. Okay, let's look inside the trunk. Beautiful, slick black paint. They put the decals back on. Uh, original weather strips, original spot welds and seams. The original numbers are still in here. All original quarter panels. New weather strip, clean trunk compartment, all original metal again. Spatter painted nicely, has a new mat. I talked to the gentleman I acquired this from just uh, no, an hour ago, and he admitted as the car drove away on our flatbed, he was almost ready to cry. It's an awesome car. Door jams are painted real nice and slick. The edge of this door panel is got a little wear on it. It must be rubbing. Uh, but the door panels are beautiful. Window cranks, all that is excellent. 
The whole dash looks like brand new. All the chrome is sparkling. All the vents and gauges are beautiful. The clock is ticking. 313 miles since it's been redone. Heater control panel looks new. This is a retro stereo. It's a digital stereo. Looks like the original. Has an auxiliary plug. Factory gauges never included in oil pressure. So here's a vintage Stuart Warner oil press pressure gauge. The light works in here. You got an owner's manual. Some miscellaneous stuff there. Kick panel, vents, all that's nice and tidy. Got GM mats, nice carpet. I can tell you, I'm sitting on the seat and it feels like a new car. They're, they're rebuilt, all resprung, recushioned. You got the staple shifter. He says this is the original shifter in really great shape. Again, the seats are nice and firm, reupholstered. Headrest, all the seat trim. All this is in really great shape. Back seats in really nice shape. Side panels, window cranks. All look great. The rear shelf is new. It's got uh, original style speaker uh, covers. And the headliners all nice. Dome light works. Shoulder belts are there. The visors are just as nice. The mirror looks new. And then it has a deluxe three spoke uh, wheel. So yeah, really, really nice uh, interior. So we have a folder full of receipts, including all the engine specs. There's R&R &R engineering, uh, built the motor. It's a big bore, lower horsepower engine, so it will run on pump gas. Uh, so it's 540 cubic inch, Howard's cam, uh, AFR polished aluminum heads, a Victor Junior Edelbrock high rise with a big dual feed Holley carburetor under there. MSD ignition hiding in the back, original style valve covers, of course there's a set of headers, and the engine bay is detailed out with the GM hoses, all painted real nicely, it's got a Delco uh, battery cover with the spring clamp cables, <clears throat> the original four core radiator that came in LS6s, that's the original, it's been restored. The horns look new, the shroud, the clutch fan looks new, the alternator, uh, it is power steering. Squirters are hooked up, steering box looks new. Power brakes with the cadmium plated uh, booster. The original towel tag is still in place over there. So yeah, really fresh, clean motor compartment, and that is one running son of a gun right there. Caleb's going to take you for a drive and show you what I'm talking about. Excited for this one. We are taking out the 70 Chevelle around the block. We're going to show her, show you guys how she drives. I've been uh, excited for this one. Couldn't wait to drive it. So it's finally a nice day. We're taking her out middle of December, showing you that you can even drive these cars year round. It's not too warm out today either. It's probably high 30s right now. So we do have to let them warm up a little bit before we lay into it but so far this thing feels really good I got high hopes on this one it's a fresh restoration a few hundred miles on her she runs like a top brakes feel really good power steering is super easy I could use my pinky finger to turn the wheel see if the turn signal so turn signal lights up Let's uh, see what she's got. I'm going to assume it's going to be like one, two, three. <laughs> oh, 
I did not want to let off. This thing is a beast. Oh, man. Now, this is my dream ride right here. What a beauty. Feels really good. We're doing 60 right now, no problem. Just driving straight down the road. I got the heat on. Uh, that works. These things are super easy to glide, even though they're the old cable ones. It does have a retro stereo in it that does function. There's uh, auxiliary cords hanging from underneath. So you can plug your phone in with it. Let's try the wipers. Let's see, those might need some attention, no big deal. Try the horn after we turn. Oh, there's the wipers, so it just takes a minute to warm up. And they suck back down. Oh, listen to this thing. Might have to take a second lap, guys. Horn works. Woo! What a beautiful car. I'm a sucker for Chevelles, but man, this is the one, guys. I'm telling you. No disappointments here at all. All the gauges are working. The oil pressure gauge underneath the dash. It's one hell of a car. This could be you right now. All you have to do is hit that buy now button. So check it out on the website. There you have it, the LS6 Chevelle. So this was taken off the frame during the restoration. Uh, front end steering and suspension completely rebuilt. It's all painted, it's all beautiful. In back, it has the, uh, the day two setup. It's a four link with like the old school like ladder bars, coil over shocks, uh, a triangulated uh, pan hard bar. Um, everything under there is redone. The brakes are all redone. It has disc in front. Uh, the exhaust is a fat exhaust. I think with Flowmasters, it dumps out right before the rear end. Uh, it, it shakes the ground. Gas tank, uh, all new. The straps, the insulators, uh, all that's been replaced. All the lines, e-brake cables. You look up at the motor, it's an extra capacity oil pan, high torque starter. Turbo 400 transmission was uh, given a performance rebuild, it has titanium clutches in it. It's good for a thousand horsepower it'll handle. Rebuilt drive shaft goes back to a completely rebuilt 12 bolt rear end with 430 Posi gears, the Richmond gears, it has strange engineering, uh, heavy duty axles. Uh, so this is a real beast. This thing is just awesome. The little bit I just drove it out here, it's like, yeah, this thing feels good. Uh, you're going to want to take it to cruise nights and car shows. You'll be the center of attention. Uh, I doubt you'll be taking it on any long-distance family vacations, but it's going to be a real fun car around town. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can talk to the salesman to help answer your questions, including how do you get this delivered to your door? How do you get it financed? If you enjoy the video, subscribe, click the bell icon, be notified when the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.